FBI threatened gerbs are mostly held by women's study shows. Executive secretaries, payroll clerks are dominated by women's. Gender distribution across corporations reflects society's bias. Oh, of, of course. So what do you guys think is more likely? Do you think that the AI is being specifically targeted just to replace women's jobs? Or is it that women haven't been doing as important work as they've been telling themselves they've been doing all along? Uh, I wonder which one it is. While AI is uh, seeding upheaval across the workforce from screenwriters to financial advisors, the technology will disproportionately replace jobs typically held by Waymans, according to HR analytics firm uh, Revelio Labs. Now, th these people were nowhere to be seen. They, they had nothing to say whatsoever when men's jobs were being replaced by automation. It's primarily like physical men's jobs that are being replaced. and. How, how did these same people react? Learn to code. Now that their jobs are being replaced, oh, hold on, guys, we got to think about the impact this will have on society. Oh, this isn't good. There's so many jobs that are going to be replaced, guys. Well, learn to code. Follow your own advice. Now, the distribution of genders across occupations reflects the biases deeply rooted in our society. Well, tell that to the women that refuse to get jobs like garbage collector and sewage worker, then. You know, with women's often being confined to roles such as Ministry of Assistance and Secretary, said uh, Haki Ozen... No. Ozdenorin, uh, economist at Revelio Labs. Consequently, the impact of AI becomes skewed along gender lines. Women choose to only go for easy air-conditioned office jobs as opposed to the, the harder physical jobs that won't be replaced by AI. Women most affected when the easiest jobs to do are the first ones to be automated out of existence. Wow, what who, who could have predicted this? Yeah, and let, let's not all, let's not forget there's also what I call charity jobs that are going away now too. Like th this is like a double whammy for whammons here. So all these companies, like the bloat charity jobs that they had while they were flush with cash are going away because the money's running running out. Got to tighten the belt. And at the same time, they're further cutting costs by automating other jobs, which also primarily held by women. Hmm. The Revelo Labs identified jobs uh, that are most likely to be replaced by AI based on study by the National Bureau of Economic Research. They identified the gender breakdown of those jobs and found that many of them are generally held by women, such as bill and accountants, collectors, payroll clerks, and executive secretaries. Executives don't actually need secretaries most of the time. I've worked for a few companies where they didn't have them. So yeah, that's a job that can easily be replaced by an AI. Their advances in AI are aggravating gender disparity in the global workforce when companies are considering cutting some staff and leveraging gender of AI in their workflow. International Business Machines Corps recently, uh, or that's IBM, huh? recently said it was it's slowing down hiring for roles that can easily be replaced by AI in back office functions such as HR. Oh, dude, one of the best decisions a company I worked for ever made is when, when they outsourced their, their HR. They had an internal HR department with like three people in it. And it was like such a hostile work environment because of them. And then they, they finally realized like, why do we have three people that basically only work once a year when it comes time to like arrange for benefits? And they fired them all and outsourced them to a third party company. And uh, things got so much better. Uh, Chief Executive Officer uh, Arvind uh, Krishna predicts as many as 3% of those positions could be replaced by automation over five years, potentially resulting in the loss of around 7,800 jobs. Would you prefer they fired people instead of just cutting back on hiring? Like, sounds like that's what they want. AI is more likely to take over repetitive jobs, the kind that are mostly held by whammons. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, AI is likely to take over tedious, repetitive jobs that are easy to automate, like the stuff women do. You know, I just realized something. This is a pattern that's been happening for at least 100 plus years now. Think of all of all these other women's jobs that have been getting automated out. Uh, you got Roombas and vacuum cleaners and washing machines and dryers, uh, microwaves, uh, frozen dinners.
All the work that women used to do around the house is now handled by random appliances and machinery. Now they're just going to the workforce too. Women weren't complaining about it when, uh, you know, the, the job of a stay-at-home wife basically became the easiest job ever. You got to do maybe 20 minutes of work and the appliances handle everything else. And then they still complained about uh, the, the, the guy not doing his share of the housework. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. L let me go dump that bin into the washer and press the button to turn it on for you. Whoo, man, that was tough. I could see why you needed my help to do that. You couldn't have just done it during the eight hours you were at home while I was working. Oh, Lord. I had no idea how tough you had it. They were fine with that. But now that uh, now that the even the stuff they did for money that that's not related to OnlyFans and even that <laughs> AI's taking that too. Oh God, that's why they're so scared. Now give me the stay-at-home husband or won't let her dumbass work like a dog. I'll take that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, if a a any any well-off women out there want to be my sugar mama, I'll gladly stay at home and and uh, do uh, the occasional menial housework as long as you pay all my bills. And don't mind that I'm going to be, uh, you know, a, a tubing all day <laughs> in between my 20 minutes of work. Yeah, that sounds like a sweet deal. Yeah, for example, OpenAI's ChatGPT model can search, review, and summarize large volumes of text quickly, tasks that would normally take paralegals much longer to accomplish. In recruitment, AI can automate the process of sorting through resumes, a task that uh, used to require more people. Yeah, I, I would train the AI that if you see pronouns in the bio or any sort of activism on that resume, immediately trash it. D don't, don't even forward it to me. Uh, any pronouns or activism on that thing, ignore. That would filter out so many HR ticking time bombs. Uh, I would say at least 95% of them. But it doesn't mean that other highly skilled workers can feel secure about their jobs. Preliminary research shows that generative AI may impact high wage occupations more than non traditional manufacturing gerbs, according to Revio Labs. Yeah, uh, there, there's a catch there, too. I have seen in my industry some companies like it's going to be the same thing with outsourcing, where companies would they think that they're going to save costs by outsourcing like all their whole development team to like India or Serbia or, or like some of those countries. And it works fine for like a year or two. And then all of a sudden they have to hire Americans again to fix things or to, or to maybe meet with compliance. I, I, I know a, a job one of my best friends worked at they, they they thought they'd save money. They outsourced to India. And after like a year, they had to fire the whole Indian team and rehire an American team because it turned out, you know, they, they had no one in on the U.S. side with the, the technical knowledge to manage them and, uh, you know, for proper communication. They, they actually ended up wrecking their company almost. Had to pay way more than they saved with the outsourcing to fix everything that got broken by these decisions. And it's the same thing with AI. I, I've already been seeing companies like they, they're so stupid. Like they, they believe that they could just have an AI work on its own without any sort of you know input or monitoring after it gets quote unquote trained. And then the AI ends up doing something that catastrophically damages the company. And uh, who do they call to fix it? Oh, right. The whole team they fired and replaced with the AI. Oops. Maybe we should have kept some of them around. Like, now, AI is just a tool. Like that, that, That's what these people need to understand. Yes, ha allowing people these powerful tools, this will let less people do more work. So not everyone is going to get to keep their jobs. But like say... You, you had a team that that was 10 people, like you needed 10 people to do a specific job. With AI, you could do the same job with five people. So yeah, half the team is going to lose their jobs, but the other half the team still has to be there to use and manage the AI properly. What these idiots are doing is they're like firing the entire team. Like they, they, they get an AI, they tell the team to train the AI to do their job. Then they fire them all when the AI is trained, and then the AI ends up, you know, breaking everything. 
and that they have no one they could cry to anymore. That's what a lot of these morons are going to do. And AI is just another tool that's going to let existing workers work more efficiently. That's all it is. But hey, you know what? People aren't going to listen to me. Let them learn the hard way. Who cares? Uh, moving forward, providing retraining opportunities will be key for women to navigate the evolving job landscape. Uh, uh, ch check with your, your sisters in Venezuela and uh, the, the retraining they did. Now, uh, by doing so, we can capitalize on the potential of AI while leveraging their valuable skills and expertise. I think the AI might be more useful if I'm being honest, but hey, just a personal opinion. You could agree with me or you could be wrong. Y your choice.